In this video, we are going to look at the accordion element that comes with both the free and pro version of Brizzy. To quickly get your head around what the accordion can do, have a look at this example over here. The question is why choose us? And then they have the short reasons here. And as you click on each one, it opens a new box or a new area with some content in it telling you a little bit more about what the main label is all about. So it's like a chapter heading or a paragraph heading, and then you have the contents within it. Why would you want to do this? Because you want to save space. And the other reason is sometimes you want people to click on something and you just want them to discover something more. This is especially very popular with frequently asked questions. In those cases, you will have a question like, why should we buy from you? And then you have the answer inside here. What happens if I'm not happy with my product? And then you have an answer inside there. And just to give you an example of how it will display on mobile, also very well. And then a very nice way also to save space. So this is what the accordion is all about. Let's have a look at how the accordion works. We go into Brizzy. Let's begin by adding a blank block and then go to Add Elements, and we look for the accordion over here, doo -doo 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 -doo, over here, drag and drop it, and let go. So what have we got here? If I click within the accordion, the first thing is it will place my cursor here next to the text accordion one. That's all you need to do to change the text. So for example, let's say I want to add a question like, why should I choose your product? Then I write it there. That's as simple as that. Click on this one. It's same thing. And if you want to highlight everything, you just triple click on it. How long do I have to wait to receive my product? And that's it. So these are your labels or your headings and your styling is done within the T for typography. Let's do that. Click on the T. Let's choose a font here like Montserrat, one of my favorites. And you can also choose from your topography settings over here if you've already set them before the time and you prefer using them. I'll go back to Montserrat and let's put it again just on paragraph and then again Montserrat and then the normal topography stylings that you have over here. You can change the color, but have a look up here. It says background, text and border. So if I'm going to choose background first, it will change the background for the labels as well as the content inside there. So that is too dark. So let's leave a little bit background in there so you can see how it will look. Then we go to text. Let's make the text dark. And then the border. Let's give it a little bit of a border, gray border. You can see that, but it's way too dark. So I'm going to reduce it to about here. And that's everything you can do with the label. So let's have a look at the content. What can go with in that section under each label? If I click on this one, you see there's an icon. This is just the default setting within Brizzy. It will bring an icon. For example, if I click on the second one, you see a button. That's just default. The great thing is this is nothing different than anything else you work with on the page. So what I'll do, I'll right click here on the icon and I'll choose delete. Now you see column, there you have the familiar plus. So if I click on here, you can add any of these elements. You can bring in a new column. Look at that. You can have two columns within it. And then you can bring an image on the one side. Let's put an image in here. And then you can maybe, if this is, for example, your team, you can bring in a bio for your team. Let's bring in some text here on this side. And we call her Teresa Snowball. And then under that, we can have some text about her. Let's just give this one maybe a little bit of a styling. We can put it on heading five. And, and you get the idea. You can put in anything in here. If you want to put a video in there, you can do the same. Let's click on this one. Delete the button first. Delete. Click on the plus. And where is our video? Video here. Click on the video and then here paste the URL. And that's it. As easy as that. Everything is ready to go and you can play around with your styling. See it's change the width of it with your columns. And let's have a look on tablet. You can leave it like that as two columns or if you click on it, you can also 
switch around the direction of your columns if you were to do that. If you want this to be on separate rows, all you need to do is grab this handle here and drag it to 100% or as close as you can. Now you get to 100% and then the second column here will appear at the bottom. And if we go for our mobile display, same thing, it will automatically do that so you don't need to do that. Mobile display is very nice, very intuitive. Let's save what we've done here. I'm going back to desktop and then update this page. And let's go view it on the front end by clicking on our little eyeball. And there you go. So you can do with this as much as you want. Just remember one thing. The one that you leave open and save is the one that will display when you go into your page. So for example, we had saved it on the video. It was saved on video. And then when people open it, it will display like so. If we go back and we open the first one, let's update it now. Back to our page and refresh it. And now you see the first part of your accordion will open as you had saved it. That's great. And that is the accordion element in both the free and pro version of Brizzy. For more tutorials and other useful information and tips here, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check out our Facebook forum and check out our website, brizzy.io.